Hola, Hola Adventurers. This is T. And this is D. And we are coming at you from our rooftop deck here in the city of Antigua. Yeah, it's a little uh, uh, overcast here, but it's still just beautiful up here as you guys saw the pictures from before. Uh, there's a big volcano right behind us and unfortunately you can't see it because the clouds are in, but um, I'll post a picture of it in there just so you get an idea of what we're looking at. Yeah. Anyway, we really love it here in Antigua and we wanted to kind of give you guys our top 10 lists of the pros and, and cons. cons of city of Antigua. Yeah. So we're going to start with the cons. Because who wants to end on a sour note, yeah. right? <laughs> so anyway, all right. So the number one thing here um, would be uh, poverty and sale of goods. Yeah. The, so, the poverty is really bad here. Um, a lot of people just trying to make a living. Right. Um, a lot of people out asking for money. Um trying to sell little goods. And it's great. I mean, I, I think it's awesome that they're out there. But it's sad. Lots of little children, children yeah. Yeah, are out there trying to sell so stuff you, to make money. It's, it's hard to watch sometimes. Yeah, so you kind of have to have, depends on what day that, you know, if you're in a good mood, you can definitely buy their goods and you can definitely give them money. Or yeah. you can you can even give them money and don't even take their goods. Yeah, which, you know, that's the easiest way to do it, is just hand them some money. Sad thing is, is that once they, <laughs> once they catch on that you're kind of an easy, uh, you know, easy person like that, they'll start catching you when they see you around town. Hey, hey, hey! But you know, that's just life here in Antigua. It is, and so just be prepared for that. You know, you'll be you'll be saying no gracias quite a bit. Quite a bit. They get a little aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> you might say uh, no gracias about ten or fifteen times before they finally go okay. Yeah, <laughs> but we've got, we're, we've gotten used to it. Yeah. So then the number two con would be, okay, so what's the polite way of saying this? No, there really is no polite way there of saying no it. There is no polite way of saying this. And, and certain areas of Antigua. You, Most areas of yes, Antigua. You have to, you can't flush your used toilet paper. I, can you believe such a yeah. thing? So, Ugh. at any rate. <laughs> Their uh, plumbing system just doesn't handle uh, waste products yeah. like Toilet tissue. And but we're like very that. fortunate in our apartment. Yes, that our we could apartment do that. has a modern day uh, septic. Yes. But um, in the city of Antigua, because it's so old, it just it, it can't handle waste byproducts. So yeah. um, there's really no nice way to say it other than it goes in the trash can next to the toilet. And that's just because they have a septic tank, you know, kind of a thing. So, yeah. so anyway, anyway, that's kind of a, if you're not prepared for it, that's just a little something that'll make you go, oh, okay. <laughs> and if you don't know, now, now you know. know. <laughs> so anyway, just the thumb, a heads up on that. Um, then the third thing would be uh, expense. Expense. It, it's it's somewhat expensive here because it is a tourist town. Yeah, but it's still cheaper than the states by all means. Oh, by all means. Yeah, and uh, we're still on target yeah. to be within our budget. We're within our budget. Unlike Costa Rica, how we didn't hit the budget because because of we our had car. to rent our car. Um, we walk everywhere here. Right. So um, anyway. And then there's number four. Yes, this is the big one, folks. This one's really important. Do not drink the water out of the faucet. Yes. However, there are lots of options that you can do uh, when it comes down to drinking water. Uh, number one, you can do uh, water bottles. Water bottles are everywhere. Yeah. And it's super cheap. Absolutely. And number two, most apartments that you rent are... Hostels will have water dispensers. So you know, big old gallon, I mean, multi-gallon bottles, kind of like what you get back in the States, and really cheap. Like, they run about two bucks, two bucks and change. Exactly. And then also, you know, uh, the restaurants. Mostly all restaurants that you go to, you're safe to drink all the water, including the ice cubes. So, so as long as you stick to those things, you'll be just fine. Um, that's kind of it for the cons. cons we don't really, not. we don't even have ten, so I yeah. guess that's a good thing. <laughs> that is a good thing because the pros totally outweigh the cons here in Antigua. Because for uh, sure. So anyway, with that, uh, we're going to give you some of the some of the pros that we think are great yes. about being here in Antigua. Um, the very first thing, the very, number one would be walkability. Like I was just saying. saying, yeah, we you can walk anywhere in Antigua. I mean. We put in about 10,000 steps a day, a day which easily, is great. which is fantastic because any place you want to get to, you can walk to. It's, it's just very, very nice. Also, coming from Costa Rica where we couldn't, didn't have that ability to do that, we had right. to drive to we different places. We had to drive everywhere. Here, I mean, everywhere you can go, you can walk, whether it be in the daytime, whether it be at night. So it's, it's, been, it's been great on that note. Yeah. Um, next would be um, the restaurants here. Ah. 
Oh my goodness, the restaurants are incredible. Yeah, it's that you can get the gamut here, whatever you want from from Japanese to Chinese to barbecue to Tico food yeah. to I mean, whatever you want here, they have it. And some of the restaurants here are fantastic. Yeah, I mean, five star quality. Yeah, really for good. Sure. And very, and you know, it's it's very uh, it's it's inexpensive at most places. Yeah, um, I mean, dinner to a nice dinner was going to run you about forty dollars. And that's not bad. No, I mean, it's not bad at all. Certainly more in the states, but um, you know, I mean, definitely you get more bang for your buck here. But um, yeah, the restaurants are incredible. Then number three would be oh, coffee. Oh my goodness! So there are so many bar barista places here, coffee places here. Well, because there's coffee plantations yeah. throughout uh, Costa Rica. You know, they grow coffee here, so. It only makes sense that they brew the meanest cup of coffee. It's so good. Yeah, so when you order lattes here, they come out perfectly. I mean, just the design of the of the latte on the top. Yeah, I I'll mean, post they... a picture of one right here. <laughs> yeah, so they really take their time in making you a really good latte here. Um, so if you come here to Antigua, please enjoy their coffee because it's fantastic. Mm -hmm, for sure. Yeah. And then the fourth thing would be just the people here. The people here are so friendly and kind. And it was like that in Costa Rica as well, but yep. it's really noticeable here. Everybody greets you as you walk. I mean, it's uh, buenos dias, yes. buenas tardes, buenas noches. Whenever it is, they're always saying hi with a smile. That's for and sure. And that's been one of the really most pleasant things about coming to a foreign country is just to see how nice they treat everybody. Um, unfortunately, it's not always like that in the States, so... Yeah, what are you going to do? Right. <laughs> All right. And then the number five pro would be the beauty of the city itself. Uh -huh. um, it's so, it is pretty breathtaking here. Just the, the colonial feel, and you have the volcanoes, and just the landscape of the whole place, the, the beautiful colors of the buildings, the bright colors, the, the yellows, the oranges. As and, you've seen in the as previous you've seen in the, video. Yeah, so, exactly. Um, you get an idea, but oh, this city is breathtaking. It's yes. just so old and quaint and colonial it just you really and do all, feel like you're stepping back in time yeah and all the cobblestones i mean everywhere oh, you walk is nothing streets. but cobblestones it's crazy i mean yeah. the whole city is made of cobblestone uh it's just beautiful so yeah definitely the beauty of it right. number six pro would be fresh produce and vegetables folks Holy again cow yeah, I mean they had they they got us beat hands down on that, you yeah. guys. I mean the the produce here is really good and the uh, and the, um, vegetables are fantastic. The selection so. is incredible. They have an open air market that you can go to um, here in Antigua where just tons of fruits and vegetables are sold. Uh, you can get meats and things like that, but the fruits and vegetables are like nothing else. And because of the season, it's they're available so long throughout the season. Fresh, fresh, fresh. Right. So really enjoy that. And then number seven for the pearls would be not as much rain. Although this is rainy season here. Yeah, as you can see by the clouds, it's a little overcast. But um, nothing like Costa Rica. Costa Rica is, is like buckets of rain when right. it rains. But here, you know, we can, if it's going to rain, I mean, you pretty much can do what you need to do in the middle of the day. Yeah, it really then, doesn't start rolling in until about two. And then maybe about by four, it starts to sprinkle. And then if we do get a rain, it lasts for about an hour. Right. So it's nothing bad. And then number, number eight. eight would be a, a great place to learn your Spanish, folks. It sure is. Uh, you know, unlike Costa Rica, a lot of people there speak English. And people do speak English here as well. But for the most part, it is their first language here. And they will definitely be speaking Spanish to you. So you really have to tell Get them into to it. <laughs> either slow down, más espacio, or whatever you want to, to to do. But they definitely will be speaking Spanish to you here. So it's been good for us. Because it's been great for us because yeah, we've definitely improved on our Spanish. So yeah. um, it kind of makes you do that. <laughs> Number nine, super, so, super so clean. clean here. Oh, my goodness. You just see people are constantly sweeping, tending to the... The bushes in, in the park, and just making sure that everything just looks beautiful. You do not see trash, you do not see graffiti, you do not see anything. It's just, it's a beautiful, beautifully kept yeah, town. Yeah, take a lot of pride here. Yeah, they certainly do. In their country. Yeah. And then the number 10, the last, would be cheap 
tuk-tuks and taxis, folks. Yeah. You can take a tuk-tuk all over the, the town here and it costs you maybe about $2. $2, yeah. Um, we don't really take it so much because we enjoy the walk, except for when we go grocery shopping and your arms are full of uh, groceries, then we'll take a tuk-tuk. And uh, yeah, it'll drive you home, it's two bucks. Yeah. And these tuk-tuks are great. <laughs> You'll see some, some of the pictures that we post. But um, anyway, it's just a great way to get around town on the cheap. So... There you go. There you have it. That's our top 10 uh, pros and cons. cons of Antigua, Guatemala. Yeah. So put that on your list, folks, to come visit. We do hope you come see it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's really, really is worth the, It's worth the travel. So yeah. thanks, as always, for sticking with us. We really appreciate you following us. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs up. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Anyway, then. we enjoyed you. And talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.